Hello, Keith Rucker here at VintageMachinery.org. Guys, uh, today I'm out at the Georgia Museum of Agriculture and I'm working on my planer restoration, my metal planer restoration. And uh, the next step we're really on this project is working on the, the whole drive mechanism to power the machine. So on this machine there was an overhead line shaft. Originally that would have been up in the ceiling and it would have been powered up to a line shaft. We're going to take a little different take on that and actually put the line shaft on the machine so it will be self-contained. Everything will be aligned if ever move the machine around, the counter shaft gets moved with it, uh, which is going to involve making some brackets and some different things to be able to do that. We're going to go into that a little bit further, but today what we're working on is I have the two pulleys that the belts come down from the counter shaft to drive the, 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 the table back and forth. There's two belts. There's a forward and a reverse belt. One of, the, of them has a half twist in the belt to reverse the direction. And by shifting the belts from one side to the other, you can make the table go forward or backwards. Uh, there's two different pulleys. They're two different diameters because your return stroke is at a faster speed than your forward stroke. So you're not wasting as much time waiting on the machine when it's retracting. Uh, uh, as you are when it's going forward. So right now what I'm doing on these is uh, I had the original counter shaft, I had the original shaft that was in it. It was a mess. Uh, the shaft is all rusted up. I'm wanting to basically replace that shaft. We got to redo the bearing system on it and I need to get the old shaft out of these pulleys. I cut the shaft and uh, we're going to be pressing these out today. I'm out here using a hydraulic press. We got a 20 ton uh, bottle jack on here. This is an air powered air over the mechanical where you can use either air power or uh, do it by hand uh, to press these things out. So let's get in here, see if we can get these things out without too much trouble today. So let's talk just a little bit about my setup. I've got this over here on the, the press. I've got some plates up underneath here. There's a hub. I don't know if you can see the top. There's a hub that goes pretty much all the way the same. It actually sticks out a little bit farther than the, the outside rim. When I'm pressing on this, I want to put all the pressure on the hub on the bottom side. I don't want to be pressing out here on the rim of this pulley because the spokes inside could, eas could easily break. We want all that downward pressure to be on the hub. So if you look, um, you know, there is a gap up underneath here. I put some spacers in there. Um, tell you what. So see, we got clearance up underneath here. I did this one time and it looked like in the video that it was pressing on there and I had a lot of, a lot of comments on the thing telling me I was an idiot, didn't know what I was doing, uh, where there was actually a gap, but on the video it didn't look like it. So I wanted to show you guys, yes, there is a gap up underneath there. We're not pressing on the outside. So um, I'm gonna just put some pressure on this, see what'll happen. Um, we may have to put some heat on this, uh, sh hub to get it to break loose or we may get lucky and uh, it just comes on apart so I got a little spacer in between there and see if we can break that loose all right it is not wanting to come out as easy as I want it to. So what I'm going to do is get the torch. We'll heat this uh, hub up a little bit. With any luck, what that will cause to happen is it'll expand, make that hole just a little bit larger, and uh, hopefully this will come right on out. So let me get the torch fired up and we'll put some heat on there, see if that helps the situation. Let's warm it up, see if we get lucky here. Anytime you're uh, using heat like this to expand the part for pressing or whatever, the goal isn't to make it red hot. We just want to put enough heat in there that causes that to grow a little bit and hopefully come right on out. Heat will often help this situation considerably. So let's get a little heat in there and uh, see what happens. Look at there. She's coming right out now.
I'm out at the museum. You can probably hear the train going by outside. And we're using the air power here to press this down rather than having to crank on it by hand. Getting close to the, our maximum stroke here. All right, let's retract that back. I'm gonna shut my air compressor off. I didn't have the pressure, so I got it pumping back up. Maybe we can uh, get this uh, jack going a little bit faster. There we go. It looks like we got it out. There we go. All right, one down. Let me get my other pulley up here. We're gonna do the same process on it and see if we get lucky on it as well. All right, I got my second pulley in here. This is a larger diameter pulley, as you can see and uh, hub sticks up a little bit more on this one than the other one. We're gonna see if we can push it out and try it cold first. It's actually moving. I'm gonna just see if I can push it on out without heating it up. There it goes. Stop right there. Put a spacer in. All right, continuing on here. Getting easier. There it goes. And with that, that actually was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Well, I honestly anticipated these pulleys giving me a little more challenge than what they did pressing them out. Uh, this turned out to be a pretty easy job, which uh, we will always take. Uh, but anyway, I thought I'd share that. I haven't done any pressing for a while and, and working in a machine shop and working in uh, restoring old equipment, very often you need to get stuff out of uh, sh shafts and whatever out of pulleys and gears and what have you. So really being able to use that hydraulic press and being able to do a good job is really important. The biggest thing to remember guys, uh, when anytime you're pressing anything, particularly like a pulley like this, where you got the spokes and you've got the outside is, is support it right up underneath the area that you're pressing. Uh, because if we had to put that pressure on the outside rim and push down and all the pressure was on these spokes, I guarantee you, 
these spokes would have broke before the, uh, the shaft gave away in there. But, uh, and then two, the trick with a little bit of heat, uh, I've had many times when the shaft just wouldn't give, wouldn't give, wouldn't give, and you put just a little bit of heat on there, it expands that outside part of the casting, expands it on out, opens it up just a fraction of a thousandth of an inch, a couple of tenths is really all it takes, and that's enough to loosen it up, and boom, it just comes right out. So there you go. A couple little tips on pressing on the hydraulic press. Next step here is we're going to get these cleaned up, repainted, uh, and I've got to start working on getting a counter shaft installed on that metal planer. Again, these pulleys will drive the, uh, the two pulleys. There's uh, the, the small one will go to a larger pulley down below. That will be the, the pulley that, that moves the table forward at a, at a fairly slow, steady pace. Uh, and then the large pulley going down to a smaller pulley will be the pulley that pulls it back. So it, it basically with some belt shifting going between the two pulleys, you'll have two speeds, one going forward at the normal speed, one coming back at a faster speed, just kind of like that. And that quick return uh, just saves you time is all it does. It's, it's, uh, you're not wasting as much time in that retraction mode as you are in that push mode. And with that, guys, uh, that is going to be a wrap on this video. As always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thumbs up, appreciate it, as are comments. And uh, hit that bell icon up there if you haven't already so you get notifications. And we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.